Hey guys, we've been getting a ton of questions recently asking what's the best way to break in a glove. So in today's video, I'll be showing you the way 44 Pro recommends you break in a glove all the way from the start to the finish when you're getting it game ready. Um, make sure to stay till the very end of the video because I'll be letting you guys know how you can win this exact glove after I break it in. All right, now let's grab the tools we need to break in the glove. So first up, the glove mallet. We have our own here, but if you don't have one, you can check any local or national sporting goods store that usually have it. And if not, you can check online on YouTube or just Google how to make a glove mount. Tons of great tips on how to make your own with the stuff that you have at your house. The next tool we're going to need is the pounding pad. So, looks like this. These are a little bit more difficult to find, but the good thing is, is that you don't need to use this exact kind of pounding pad. You just need a surface that's soft but firm. So we recommend if you can't find this, which will be pretty rare because they're not usually readily available at sporting goods stores, is just folding up a towel or two and putting it on the ground and breaking your glove on top of that. It's going to provide a nice, soft, but firm surface to break in your glove. All right, guys, the last tool to break in a glove, everyone has it, the baseball. The baseball is going to be the most important tool in breaking in a glove because the best way to break in a glove is just by playing catch with it, grab a friend, go outside. The more you play catch, the more the glove will mold to your hand, the more the glove will form to your hand. Now that we have all of our tools, let's head outside and start breaking this glove in. All right, we're outside and ready to start breaking this glove in. The first thing I always recommend is pounding the pocket of the glove directly at first. This will get the glove nice and loosened up and ready for you to play catch and work on the other main points of the glove. So first up, I'm just going to work on the pocket of the glove. I like holding one of the laces or maybe the one of the fingers to keep my hand out of the way of the mallet. And then you can also, if you want to try, form it to your hand a little bit. Put your hand in there, whether you want to go traditional or put two in the pinky slot or however you put your hand in there. Put your hand in and same thing. So the next step we usually recommend is breaking in the break points on the heel of the glove. This is the heel, this is the thumb, this is the pinky. There's two main break points at the thumb and the pinky point of the glove. So what I recommend, find out how you want to use the glove. Say you want to use the glove with a thumb to pinky break in, thumb to ring finger break in. However you want to break the glove in, it's up to you. Once you find the perfect break in, set it on the, set it on the pad. Say you want to go thumb to ring finger. You're going to set it down like that, and you're going to pound the glove. Do the same thing for the pinky at the break-in. So once again, thumb to ring finger, this time on the pinky. All right, so I've been out here for about 30 to 40 minutes, and here's the progress that I've made. So you can see we're getting there. It's not there yet, but after a couple more steps, it should be almost game ready. So the last step that I like doing with the mallet is breaking in the web of the glove. But if you're not fully satisfied with the breaking yet after this step and you feel like something's a little bit too stiff, you can always use the mallet to break in the back of the fingers or more work on the web, more work on the thumb. Really anywhere you feel like the glove needs work, you can always just use the mallet on that part of the glove specifically. So to break in the web of the glove, what I like doing is putting it on my hand first and then kind of going upwards with the mallet or sideways like this. Right into the pocket of the glove and even into the actual web of the glove also like this. If you can see right here, if I turn to the side, if you go like this, really working that bottom portion of the web and maybe even getting up towards the top to loosen up the top of the web, but and then even putting it on the pad as well and working in this portion of the web. Let me get this camera over here. So like this, into this portion, bottom of the web. Once you get this part of the web stretched out a little bit, it becomes a lot easier to break in. So. And top of the web like this. Get that broken in a little bit. Once the web gets broken in, it becomes a lot easier to squeeze. Okay, so now I'm all done with the mallet. But once again, if you feel like your glove needs any more work, feel free to do more mallet work. Back of the fingers, web, thumb, wherever you feel like it's needed, feel free, obviously. But now it's time for the fun part. Let's play catch. So the last step, and probably the most important step, is just playing catch with your glove to break it in. This is going to be maybe 30, 40 minutes a day. Whenever you have any free time, just go outside, play some catch. Um, and the more you play catch, the better your glove will break in, the more it will form to your hand. If you play catch one day, it's going to break in a little bit, two days, three days. 
a week, it's gonna get more and more broken in, more and more form to your hand. Really, the one thing that all of our pro guys have in common, no matter how they break in a glove, pro players have a ton of crazy methods. The one method they all have in common is just playing catch with the glove. By playing catch with it, it's gonna to mold to their hand, really form to their hand well, better than any other sort of steaming or any other method that could possibly damage your glove. Catch is the one method that all pros use. So we've been playing catch for about 30 minutes now, and so the 30 minutes of catch combined 30 minutes breaking time, about an hour total, and here's how the glove's looking right now. So, as you can see, almost game ready. I'd say after maybe two or three more days of catch, maybe take some ground balls with it, you should be ready to use this thing in a game. All right, so we're done playing catch now, done, done with the mallet work. What I like to do lastly, just a little bit of stretching the glove out. In certain parts of the glove, like the top of the fingers, maybe the thumb a little bit. Just stretch it out like this. You can go a lot of different angles. Just really gonna try to get to the top of the fingers right here. You can see this lace. Stretch it out a little bit. Shouldn't take that much time. Just get a nice little stretch. And then we should have the glove, let me check. Um, pretty much game ready. I'd say one or two more days of catch and this thing will be ready to use in a game. So the last thing I'm gonna do right now is put a little bit of glove rub on the glove. This won't help speed up the breaking process but it will help keep the leather from drying up and it will help keep the color in the leather. So what you're gonna do for the glove rub, super simple, there's a little tin right here, of uh, it's pretty much a balm kind of material. Take a little bit on your finger, like so, and each part of the uh, each part of the leather. You're not gonna wanna put it on any embroidery, or like a, you can kinda go over the stitching, but just not on either, any of the logos or name embroidery that they have in the glove. So same I'm gonna do it on the palm. Let's start with the, uh, the pinky of the glove. Little bit on there, rub it in, you want to get the laces as well. Most people will try to avoid laces. You really want to get the laces moistened up as well so they don't crack or they don't dry out over time. So a little bit more on my finger here, like this. Move on to the palm of the glove. This will just help, say, um, say you're playing four games in a week one time and your glove was really dry. Obviously, you don't want the, the, the color to run. You don't want anything to happen to the glove like that. So you're going to put a little bit of glove rub on there rub it in, and that will keep the color nice and look, keep the glove looking new, and it'll keep the glove from drying out over time. Let's go with the back part of the palm overlay right here, once again. You can get the stitching, I would just try to avoid any actual big embroidery on the glove. And you can already see, it's making it a little bit darker, and that will go away over time to make it have that natural color. But if your glove's really drying out, just add a little bit of glove rub on there, it brings the color right back into it. Okay guys, you've made it this far, now it's time to figure out how to win this glove. All you gotta do is subscribe to the 44 Pro Goes YouTube channel, buttons down below, and then comment down below one thing you're doing to get better right now. We'll be choosing a winner in the next seven days. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the field.